Peter Valley, FBAMaster.com here. In this video, I'm going to cover the epic showdown of ScanLister versus ExcellerList. These are the two top Amazon listing tools used at least by readers of FBA Mastery based on my unscientific analysis. Now, here's how I feel about Amazon listing tools. It is the second tool I would recommend any Amazon seller getting started to invest in. The first would be a scanning app. The second thing you graduate to is paying for a listing tool because listing directly on Amazon is so cumbersome as to just be absolutely impractical. And the third thing I'd recommend is a repricer. Okay, so in that order. So this is a, what I'm covering here is the second investment I recommend any Amazon seller make in software. So we're going to compare Acceler List versus scan lister in each of four categories and i'm going to attempt to make this the most exhaustive review of these two tools ever attempted so number one we're going to cover the listing process it's probably the most important thing number two we're going to cover the features number three we're going to cover the design number four we're going to cover the cost and we're not going to do it in this order i don't know why i listed this way i think we're going to do it in reverse order so what is a listing tool so listing tools do exactly one thing they streamline the process of taking an item you got an item in your hand you want it listed for sale it's eliminating the maximum number of steps in between those two things so the tool that the listing tool that functions best is the one that streamlines that process the most. And again, I got to tell you, listing directly via Amazon. I, every like couple years, I attempt it again just to see if it's as bad as it used to be. I, I'm not kidding. It should be considered a a, a war crime in. Uh, every country if anyone attempts to list anything directly via amazon if i was president that it would there'd be televised military tribunals uh for anyone that even attempts it it's that horrific and actually on amazon itself we'd put jeff bezos in a military tribunal it's that bad here's how listing tools work because that process is so nightmarish you log in the listing tool you enter the isbn of a product i won't go through all these steps but basically you scan an item it brings up all the price and data you add a price and then you add a condition note and then you hit submit and then it just sends it to the shipment and then when everything's done you send it over to amazon and complete the shipment very very simple it's the way listing should be but amazon of course has to make everything difficult okay what are these tools what are we even talking about let's give a brief history of scan lister and then excel list okay first up the scan lister story scan lister was started by what i call the og amazon book selling blogger nathan holmquist he does a website called booktothefuture.com. Not updated quite as much these days, but um, when I got started selling on Amazon, it was almost the only internet resource uh, resource there was, so at least it was specific to books. So uh, homage to the originator, booktothefuture.com. And Nathan, after several years of doing his blog and building up a big email list, launched ScanLister in 2014. I believe at the time, there was only one other FBA-specific listing tool out there uh, called FBA Power, which since changed its name to ScanPower. Could be wrong about that, but I think ScanLister was number two. Now, what about ExcellerList? How does that fit in? What's its backstory? Um, it was another early listing tool launched in 2016 by also by actual Amazon sellers, which is cool. Uh, it's always a good touch. And it's probably the biggest standalone listing tool um, in terms of an Acceler list is growing and there's, it's doing all kinds of different things now. It's trying to compete with Inventory Lab, etc. But at least when it launched, and I think today it still tries to brand itself specifically as a listing tool. And um, it's definitely probably, I shouldn't say definitely, but I think it's probably the biggest standalone listing tool that exists out there. But you've got lots of other options. You've got ScanPower, you've got TurboLister, GoToLister, Inventory Lab, Celebrate, Seller Dynamics. You've got a huge list. So the reason I'm focusing on these two is that they tend to be the most popular amongst at least the people that I interact with, people who read FBA Mastery, um, maybe specifically just amongst booksellers. Uh, Acceler List and ScanLister tend to be the most popular. But let's say you want to branch outside these two. Let's say you don't care about this, this review at all. Let's say you want to choose a different tool. How do you do that? I can tell you very, very simply, and this is going to inform your decision as we get through this, this review. Um, listing software comes down to two things, speed and price. That's it. So the first thing you look at is the speed. You want to know which tool is going to get your inventory listed the fastest. And small, small differences make a huge impact in terms of speed. If you've got 100 books you want to list for sale. If you can shed half a second off the process for each book, that really, really adds up to something. It's no small thing. So speed is far and away number one. I'd be willing to pay more for something if it went faster. Okay, that's number one. Number two, all other things being equal, speed being equal, then you choose based on price. Simple as that. What doesn't matter is features. Because the way listing tools work is they only do one thing. And the difference between the worst listing tool and the best listing tool, it's going to be a pretty narrow margin. So in other words, there's not really any way to get it wrong. A tool either lists your items for sale or doesn't. And beyond that, it just doesn't matter. So you're not really looking at features because all features do, features are just kind of the bells and whistles that don't actually impact how fast you list something for sale. So hard to imagine any feature that would actually have an impact on the core function of listing something for sale.
So to me, it's very simple. Speed and price, that's it. So you guys, I'm not gonna make you wait all the way to the end of this video to get the winner. I'm gonna actually lead with the winner. You guys ready? I'm gonna tell you the winner of Acceler List versus Scan Lister, and then I'm gonna kind of go backwards and then make the case for why the winner that I declare is actually the best listing tool. Okay, so give me 90 seconds to get that. I have to get this out of the way. My name is Peter Valley. I've been selling Amazon for over 15 years at this point. I do the website fbmaster.com. And I actually signed up for my first listing tool the day I became an FBA seller when I transitioned from Merchant Fulfilled. I tried listing my inventory for sale on Amazon directly, and it was an absolute nightmare. Um, never regretted signing up for listing tools. One of the first purchases I made. And I used a tool called Scan Power at the time, which is still around. Um, I've since switched to a tool I'll reveal to you in just a second. I'll give you the winner. Um, I gotta mention my free book literally literally free literally 396 pages you can build an entire business off of this free book fbmaster.com slash ebook also put the link below this video mandatory reading covers almost every aspect of this business it's insane it's the most insane thing i've ever seen given away for free from any in the amazon world ever so grab it before i change my mind also if you watch this far you have entered into a legally binding contract that you will subscribe to the youtube channel literally immediately by hitting the subscribe button below literally right now this contract is legally binding i have a team of lawyers standing by ready to serve you with subpoenas paperwork i've got a swat team outside your house right now if you do not subscribe they're going to come through your window along with my lawyers we're all in cahoots so just save yourself the trouble subscribe to the youtube channel immediately lastly i have a much longer article version of this video at fbmaster.com put a link below this video as well let's get into it the winner you guys scan lister come from behind cinderella story the underdog triumphs scan lister I don't know why I said all that. If somehow you believe you can just take my word for anything without me actually making a case for why I'm declaring Scanlist to the winner, if somehow you've been deluded and thinking I know what I'm talking about, um, then just go ahead and sign up right now. I'll put a link below this video. Uh, if you need to, actual evidence, the supporting evidence for my belief that ScanLister is the best Amazon listing tool, that's what the rest of this video is about. So part one, we're gonna cover the ever important subject of price. This is pretty simple. Either a tool is cheaper or it's not. ScanLister is $29 a month and you actually get a lifetime plan, lifetime, not annual, lifetime for $499. The way that math works out is if you plan to sell on Amazon for longer than 18 months, getting the lifetime plan will pay for itself. Now, what about Seller List? It's actually $40 a month. It's a significant difference. It does add up, but here's the deal. I would never tell someone to use an inferior tool if it actually the features actually paid for themselves. So let's find out if all the bonus features that Seller List offers actually justifies the increased price. So winner, part one, remember we're doing this in four parts. Part one, obviously you can do basic math. The winner is ScanLister. It's 30% cheaper over Acceler List, and ScanLister has a lifetime deal, which I don't think that Acceler List has. Okay, part two, features. Now, I said it earlier, this is probably the least important part of this video. Features are everything outside the main listing process. In other words, all the bells and whistles and the settings and all that stuff. Everything that doesn't have anything to do with directly with actually listing an item for sale. So that's what I, how I'm defining features for the purpose of this video. So these are the things you probably will never use or you're gonna set them up once when you sign up and then you're just gonna forget about. Them. So a couple screenshots to kind of set the tone here and there's no real point to this because there's lots of different pages inside each of these tools. But here's a screenshot from ScanLister. Here's a screenshot from Acceler List. Okay, so what are my thoughts about ScanLister's features? ScanLister is a listing focused tool. Now you might be thinking, well, isn't that what all listing tools are? Not really. As we'll see with Acceler List, they start out as listing tools and they just grow and grow and grow and they add all these pack and all these features and they become something that's very, very departed from its original mission. ScanLister has stayed singularly focused on listing your inventory for sale in the fastest way possible and it does literally nothing else and it doesn't claim to. It gives you the exact number of features you need to get the job done and nothing else. Now what about Acceler List? Excel list, I would argue, is an extreme case of, maybe you heard me use this term before, but it's called feature bloat. Feature bloat um, afflicts lots of software tools where they start out doing one specific thing with a narrow set of features, and then they expand and they pack in this one feature, they pack in another feature, they get a bunch of requests from their users to do this other thing, and they pack in a third, fourth, fifth, and it just becomes overwhelming. So I would argue that Excel list has an extreme case of feature bloat. It has so many features, it's dizzying, and it's almost impossible to not get lost. Uh, it's, it's honestly almost overwhelming in its complexity. Uh, and to a, to a degree that I would argue is unnecessary, it doesn't really serve, it doesn't really serve its users, it doesn't serve its mission of listing your inventory for sale, it doesn't serve anybody, except for the handful of people that actually care about all these different features. So the winner here in category number two, ScanLister. 
Uh, less is more. Um, I went through every single feature in Acceler List. If you read the article version of this video on fbmastery.com, I went into massive detail into what every single feature is. I found almost none of them to be actual, actually useful in terms of listing your inventory for sale. There's feedback management features. There are, um, uh, God, what is it? It's like you can review your inventory. There's analytics. There's all this stuff. And I'm just sitting back with Acceler List. Like, what does this have to do with listing my inventory for sale? These are shiny object kind of bells and whistles that have nothing to do with why I signed up. Um, so I understand that these all these features may have serve a really valuable utility for certain users. It's definitely not me, and I would I would say it's definitely confidently say it's definitely not the majority of people watching this video right now. If you're a smaller seller and you're just signing up for a listing tool because you just want to streamline the listing process, all the stuff you're paying extra for with Acceler List basically is not going to have any value to you, in my opinion. And the way I would describe Acceler List, it's kind of like hitting an ant with a sledgehammer. ScanLister, on the other hand, vastly more streamlined. And for that reason, ScanLister, I declared the winner of best features. Now, less features. I want to be really clear about that. ScanLister has less features. They would not argue otherwise. But better in terms of overall usability, ScanLister wins. Okay, part three, absolutely far and away the most important part of this video. This is the one you're going to want to focus on. Remember I said at the beginning, all you're looking for with the listing tool is speed and price. We already covered price. This is basically the speed portion, the listing process, the actual, pr actual process of listing an item for sale with each tool. Which one goes faster? That's all I care about. And I would argue that's all you should care about. We're going to cover that in great detail right now. Okay, so there's basically two parts in any listing, listing software. There's the shipping contents, in other words, where you see where you know, every single item that you've listed for sale, right? That's added to a shipment. I'm talking for FBA sellers now. And then there's a page where you actually do the listing, where you set the price and the condition note. When you actually scan an item, that's kind of a, usually a separate page. I haven't used every listing tool out there, but that's generally how they work. There's a separate page for that. Okay, so here's the ship the shipment contents page for ScanLister. As I mentioned, very minimalist design. We'll get to design next year. And this is Acceler List. A lot more sort of like flashy, a lot more polished, but functionally they worked almost exactly the same. Okay, so what about the listing page? This this is the most important part, you guys, like far and away. This So focus on what you're looking at here. If you're not using ScanLister, I want you to pay attention and ask yourself, what's missing from my listing tool that ScanLister has? I'll answer that question in a second. So here's the listing page. You scan an item, this is what you get. You get the Amazon price, you get the keeper charts, all this stuff. What does Excel list look like? Look like this. You scan an item, you get the prices. You don't see the live Amazon data. Uh, you don't see the Keepa charts. Very important details. Spoiler for what's to come. Okay, so ScanLister versus Excel list in terms of the listing process. And I already gave it away. ScanLister brings everything you need into one single page. The implications of this when it comes to listing your inventory for sale are massive. Cannot be overstated. ScanLister brings rank data and price data and all the price data you need right there into one place so you can make an intelligent pricing decision when you list your item for sale. Acceler List, on the other hand, spreads it across two pages. So let's back up. Let's go back to ScanLister. Look at this page right now. Now, you've heard me say this a million times. The only pricing data you can truly trust is what is live on the Amazon page at that moment. All other data, pricing data is going to come from Amazon's API, which has blind spots. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. I'm not going to go into it. I have like literally multiple other videos covering this, how massive the blind spots of Amazon's API are. So if you don't know what an API is, for the purpose of this video, just understand it's how third-party software gets data from Amazon. So you see this price on the left here? That's API data, okay? On the right, that's the actual Amazon page, actual live on the page at that moment pricing data, which really is all the data you care about. It's the most important data. It's the data you can trust the most. You really can't trust the API source data. So ScanLister brings both into one page. With Acceler List, it's spread across two pages. So let's say you got the API data. So that's the data where you know Acceler List or ScanLister says, hey, here's the lowest five prices, merge fulfilled, FBA, used and new, okay? So you get that data, but what if you're like, I wanna dig deeper, or I wanna look outside the bottom five offers, or I wanna see what the exact sequence is. There's, just, there's, there's, there's two major blind spots to the API data. Personally, because pricing is so sensitive, I wanna give extra, extra care to when I set a price knowing that I'm setting the best possible price. Now, a lot of you might be sitting back just being like, hey, I don't actually care about the initial price. I just unleashed my repricer on my inventory. So I just set a random price when I list something for sale. It might be, you know, intentionally too high. And then you just unleash your repricer on it once it hits the warehouse. So you're not gonna care about what I'm saying right now that much if that's you. But for those of us that want maximum control end to end when we, the initial price we set, as well as with our repricing tool, which if you care 
narrow price. That's the tool to use. But if that's you, then this is then how ScanLister handles this problem. Um, you're, it's going to be um, it, it's a no brainer. I mean, you just have to sign up for ScanLister if this is something you care about. Not to mention the Keepa charts. Look at the bottom there. You see the Keepa pricing history chart, so you can actually see the historical pricing data, which again, Excel list does not show. I don't even know if I mentioned that yet. Scan, Excel list does not show historical pricing data. It has a link to Camel, 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 which it has no link to Keepa, and it does not show the live Keepa charts on the in the listing process at all. Scan Lister does all of this, and so essentially what I'm getting at here is it's actually an extra step with Excel list. Scan list removes a step, bringing everything into one page. With Excel list, you got to toggle between the Amazon page and the listing page to get the full range of pricing data, and you don't get to see the Keepa charts at all. So I hope it's clear how significant this is. Remember, I said speed is the most important thing. ScanLister wins when it comes to speed. When it comes to streamlining the listing process, far and away, ScanLister wins. These little details, like having to toggle between two different tabs in Excel list, that makes a big, big impact. So, best listing process, ScanLister wins, and this is the most important part of this video. It's why I declared ScanLister the winner. We still have one more section to go, but ScanLister puts all the pricing data on the same page. ScanLister puts the Keepa charts on the same page as the pricing data, and ScanLister just, in, simply put, more streamlined. And that's really the most important thing that you care about when it comes to a listing tool. Now, I don't want to beat up on Excel list too much here. The last part is design. And you probably already noticed from the screenshots who's going to win this one. ScanLister openly, unapologetically, has a very minimalist design. It is not a design focused tool. It is a functionality focused tool. Okay. So you can see here what you're looking at is something that doesn't even try to be, you know, doesn't even try to have the wow factor when it comes to design. Now, Excel list, you can tell they put a lot of work in their design. And I'm kind of covering up some of it here with all the obnoxious text now in my face. But uh, suffice to say, Excel list is, is to a pretty large degree, a more attractive tool than ScanLister. So definitely with design, Excel list wins. So you guys, that brings us to the winner. You already know it. ScanLister, come from behind, Cinderella story, the underdog wins, ScanLister. It's the Amazon listing tool that I use, used it for a while. Here are the top four reasons ScanLister is better. Number one, ScanLister is cheaper. Number two, ScanLister shows historical keep a price and charts on the pricing page, allowing you to make a more intelligent decision when you're listing, whether or not you want to list something at all and what price you want to list it for. The keeper charts are useful for that. Number three, ScanLister shows live Amazon pricing data directly on the listing page side by side with the API data. Really, really significant. Number four, ScanLister is just simply a simpler tool. Excel Lister, in my opinion, tries to do too many things. It's like hitting, hitting an ant with a sledgehammer which is not what I want when it comes to the listing process. I want simple, I want fast, and I want cheap. And ScanLister checks all those boxes. So you can sign up for a free trial of ScanLister, 30 days, hit the link below this video right now. Is it 30 or 14 days? I forget, I think it's 14 actually, sorry. 14 day free trial, hit the link below this video right now, sign up for ScanLister, make the switch. It's not hard to switch between listing tools. So if you're using any other tool, very, very simple to switch. It takes like literally a minute. Okay, so now that you guys know the number one listing tool in the world for Amazon sellers, would you like to know what your four part mission is. Are you ready? Okay, mission number one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I mentioned that you have to do it. It's mandatory, legally speaking. Number two, get my free stuff, including and especially my reselling for rebels book. I'll put also a link below this video, epimaster.com slash ebook. You can build a whole business off my free book, 396 pages. Number three, what did I say earlier? Top three tools that I recommend you pay for. The first one is a scanning app. The second one is a listing tool. What did I say what the third one was? A repricing tool. I built the world's best repricer. It's called NeuroPrice. It is not subjected to any of the blind spots that afflict every other repricer in the world. Basically mandatory that you sign up right now. Also link below this video. Number four, take what you learned in this video and go make money with it. This is, I didn't make this video to be entertaining. Obviously I'm boring is all heck. So if you watch this video this far, it's only because you wanted to be educated in a way that will actually make you money. So I'd argue ScanLister is going to accomplish that for you. So the way you get the most use out of this video is to switch to ScanLister right now. Link below this video. That's it, you guys. This is Peter Valley signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.